Welcome back. Thanks for securing access to those desert resources. It's a huge help. I know it isn't much, but please take this. It's the least I can do. Oh, and be sure you to swing by if you ever need anything, all right? He wouldn't have given me anything if I didn't come what over. What can I help you with? Mm -hmm. All right, what do you got? Recovery. And he just gave you a bunch of recoveries, too. Uh, let's see. Anything I don't have. The XP gauge, fishing spots. Down attack up? Increase the power of down attacks. Yeah, uh, so you're, you're, you're like stagger. a here. Counter. Move toward an enemy attack with perfect timing to counter it. Charge attack. Oh, I can hold. Hmm. That'll be interesting to look into later. Yes. What have you got for me? I think you kicked some tin can ass out in the desert. So I guess, you know, thanks or whatever. She's got, I'm a named side character for you. <laughs> yeah. She's not, uh, not too exciting. No. Not yet. Her name's Jackass, and uh, she's, I guess I'd call her a scientist. My name's Jackass, and welcome to the desert. Instead of my name, Johnny Knoxville and Mrs. Jack. I think we've earned a breather. Say to be. I think you're wrong. I was hoping we could talk about our next move. Androids, we don't I'm get worried time. about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. Yeah, and it's, it's weird. Maybe we should return unclear. to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance. On, on whether you need to sleep or not, because you can. Really? Yeah, like you could lie down in, in bed and, and use them as save points. It's super unnecessary. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be seen as a way to recharge the batteries, because there's probably reserves, and then there's probably an opportunity where you just need to regenerate. Yeah. And that, or, I guess, makes sense. it could be photosynthesis. It could be. Or, yeah, now, so, uh, or I say photosynthesis like an idiot, when I really meant sol just solar power, because they're androids. Photosynthesis is a food generation. Yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say, we're now, I was, uh, I was thinking of Knights of Sidonia. Knights of Sidonia, yeah. <laughs> when I said it. Okay, so should I be returning to base? Uh, I, do, do, I don't think it actually matters. Because as far as I can tell... You, there's, it, like, there's some... I, do, I think you got to go back there anyway. Yeah, and I don't point. really think there was anything... Like, I think end. you can... if It's basically if you want to go around and open more save points or look for side quests. Nah, fuck it. We'll do that later. All right. Yeah. Let's go back. You got it. Summon the jet down. Wait. No, she meant the resi he the resistance camp. Yeah, so but I thought it was going to fast travel me. Oh, no. He okay. was... <laughs> He was just unnecessarily bothering you. With yeah, it. that was a completely unnecessary. <laughs> that's that's what I was trying to say. Like, I don't know. Oh fuck! I'm holding the dog button again. This isn't easy mode. There's no auto dodge. So yeah, I I just noticed uh, when you get the kill, the number for your healing actually pops up over your head. It's like oh, two hundred health. Oh damn! Oh, yeah, oh no, it's one sixty-five. Wow. I, I think I read the six is a nine. <laughs> uh, back up to full health. Yeah. <coughs> That's going to be an immensely useful skill. So you can uh, shortcut over that fast if you want. Yeah, but there's an item down here. Okay. You got the crystal. Soon Still you'll, new, so it, soon you'll really have exciting. 99 of them, and you can just go sell 50 without worrying about if you have enough. <laughs> oh, I 100% will <laughs> which, be which, which is right. exactly what I do, and, uh, like, it's just, if I get, if I get 99 of something, I, uh, or I think my rule was, if I had, like, if I maxed out on something, I'd go to the store to sell things, but then I'd go through everything... And sell half of everything that I had that I had more than thirty of or something. Like yeah, I, I had some weird system that I worked by, the that, arbitrary system. That's like when I played Final Fantasy X. Basically, if I had additional stuff, if it was over like twenty, because I didn't ever really needed more than twenty, I would just start selling it down to twenty. Not I mean, right now. Special new game plus treasure chests. Yeah, I played another game that had that. It was like black chests. You can't open these now, and it was new game plus. 
Um, Persona 5 seems to have a really good, interesting New Game Plus mechanic, because I just beat the game, and it was like, you've unlocked New Game Plus, which is going to have all this cool stuff. Um, I'm not 100% because I never started New Game Plus, but I think you keep all the skills for confidence that you actually maxed out, but you don't keep their rank, so if you want like to 100% them all in one playthrough, you still have to do that. I had heard too that you get um you keep all your social skills and you keep all your personas you've created. i i heard that in new game plus although this was like when the game first came out and yeah and, and i think it was pat that said it but he hadn't beaten it yet but i i heard that uh you get like double like like when you're raising the confidants you get double the normal oh, really? for for answer for going through Oh, that'd be really good. I think so. It, it speeds it. So on New Game Plus, you're basically guaranteed to be able to finish everything. Yeah. If you want. Well, from what I can tell, like 100% of that game is 100% possible in the second playthrough, and then you can't 100% of the game in the first playthrough because there's an optional boss fight and uh, a persona that you can't actually create until you're in New Game Plus. Yeah. Uh, you can accept sub quests from clients marked as circles with dots in them all over the world. Sub quest questions. There are directions. Our destinations, fuck, are indicated as a orange. Uh, it's diamond. just it's a single diamond as opposed to a four. Two okay. Seven. And the best way to yeah the best way to look they'll show up like you don't have to find them like you don't have to like go out and pass by them for them to show up on the map. Yeah. So the best way is to just go into the map, zoom out all the way, turn the camera, pan the camera down, and then swirl it so you can see the whole world, and okay. you just look for those dots, and it's like okay I. I'll put, like, if you're in a side quest in mood. That makes sense. All right, I cannot upgrade anything. No. Uh, you're close with the Virtuous Contract. So, I still need more Pyrite and Stretch Coil for that one. Yeah. Which I've already found some. Uh, I need Titanium Alloy for my Virtuous Contract, which is my first sword. Yeah. And, and oh, you know what? Those, those bonuses, attack speed up, I think it's, uh, those are, like, um... As long as the weapon's equipped. Like, if it doesn't matter if it's in the heavy or the light slot. Okay. And I think it'll affect both weapons. Like, you'll, y your your personal attack speed is up. Not this weapon's attack speed is up. Okay. That'd uh, be interesting. Because the Beast Vein has endurance up. Yeah. And I, th like, that's just gonna be global. So I, I'm pretty sure they're all, th those are, like, global skill Dude, That would make sense. Increases. But yeah, you're... Uh, let's see. I can afford the Ancient Overlord and the Beast Lord now if I want to try them. But not both of them. <clears throat> no. I wonder if I should save my money or if I should be buying all the weapons at this point in the game. Uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to get rich eventually. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know what actually I do want to do is go that's talk another, to That's another thing. If, if it's like, hey, I want to buy this weapon, I can just go smash some robots off screen. Yeah, it's true. And if we are going to end up doing the new game plus or anything like that, we'll have... So uh, yeah, upgrading the pod game. is uh, hyper uh, difficult. Uh, for one, you need like a special item specifically for pod upgrades. Okay. And then secondly... So yeah, you they... power up part S. So okay. don't worry about the pod until you find power up part S. Okay. But after that, it's going to be pure water. <laughs> so Mirage, yeah. So you hold it. It puts a bubble out around you. You get as many enemies into it as possible. Although if you get hit, you get knocked out of it. So be careful be about careful, that. Yeah. But yeah, you pop it and then it attacks. You, you basically do a melee attack on everything in the circle. That. Sounds like a game I played. What game was that? Uh, I don't know. the Twilight them. Princess had something like that when you're a wolf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then there's the hammer. That's that. pretty self-explanatory. AoE, but in front of you. Uh, the blade, I believe that will spin around you constantly as you fight, dealing just passive hits to everything. That sounds cool, too. Like, both the yep, blade and the mirage bad. do sound really interesting Spear is me. impalement from underground. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna buy. Uh, I'm gonna buy the Mirage first. Yeah. And I'm gonna buy a storage. Only a plus eight is all I can afford. I can afford two plus eights actually. Yep. And I mean, money is kind of uh, bountiful. So, and you're gonna find more and more chips. So having the storage. Well, that's while exactly you're out what there. I'm thinking is, exactly. Uh, um, yeah. All right. So now I gotta do some customization here, and then I'll start the next main quest. Okay, so first we go to skills. 
Plug in chips. Uh, oh yes, that. Too. Switch this to Mirage. Yeah. And then set type A. All chips. So I could go double down my movement speed will bring it to ten percent, but mm -hmm. I think the damage increase first will be more beneficial. Because uh, I can't do both. You can't do both. I can't do both of it. I can only use one of the three options here, so mm. attack speed increase isn't going to be a vast difference, but at least yeah, I'll have something. You can see what it out. gives you over on the side. You'll get an extra 24. Yeah, extra 24 damage. And speed speed doesn't really have a number, numerical value. Well, and on the auto healing thing, I'm just going to learn to heal myself and not yeah, rely on Yeah, you've been doing it. okay with it. Yeah, so we'll go, we'll go with this for now. I mean, it's really expensive, but as soon as I find something better. And you, you have the uh, uh, different, better version of auto healing, which is non-item auto healing on killing things. Yes. So, yeah, like, I'm like if you get low, like, like if your health starts to get low, you can focus on weaker enemies for a minute. And stuff yeah, like exactly. I'm uh, good for all that stuff. Quests are fine. All right, I'm going to do a quick save here, which is magnificent that that is a thing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue story. Uh, actually, I want to see what this looks like. Okay, so it's not so a yeah. huge bubble. No. But, but I can run around. Yeah, you can run around and pop it whenever you want. And do a cool thing like that. And you, yeah, you turn invincible and attack everything. And it's, uh, it's strong. Like, it'll kill weak enemies. Cool, that sounds way better to me than my laser. Ooh, item. Yeah, it's basically it's it's Small G AOE. I believe that will uh, increase an item drop drop right? That makes sense. Bad. Uh, you know what I should do actually if I need money is start selling those uh, passive buffs because I have no intention of ever using them because they only last for like fifteen seconds and that's not really my play style. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I uh, I I hate temporary buffs. Exactly. I would rather have a 2% permanent buff than a 10% temporary buff. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, unless it lasts like 5 minutes and then that's different. Yeah, there, there are games like that where it's like, hey, use this temporary buff and it lasts an hour. It's like, oh, alright. Witcher 3 does that really well. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, you're going to pop oh, this man. potion, it's going to last 5 minutes, you're going to be able to fight everything and then it's going to wear off. Kingdom Come has some <laughs> interesting stuff. Uh, let's see, one second. We'll, we'll discuss that yeah, in a yeah. second. I heard from Jackass about your encounter in the desert. Good work. Yeah, but you don't know about the human robot thing. That was weird. Uh, we don't have much to offer, and thanks, but I've readied a room for you here. Oh, well, thank you. Now I can heal. Oh, it's an actual room. Yeah, with a bed. Cool. A super unnecessary bed. <laughs> Especially since I can just walk up and save it there. Right. Uh, at least yeah. you can do free freeze it whenever you like. And you sleep in the bed, and it asks you if you want to save, and you're six feet away from save point. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go use the bed. <laughs> we have to use it once yeah, to I show did the, gratitude. I did the exact same thing. I used it once, and then never uh, looked at it again. I just noticed there was now, a I'm steal here. from their truck. I'm trying, you're, but I'm having some trouble you're here. You're good. You're the best. <laughs> Around. Animal bait. bait. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Into no, the room. This is a pretty, like, this is pretty big. You sure it's okay for us to get a room like this? Uh, who said us? This is my room. You sleep outside. <laughs> Information, remember? Plus, we'll probably be stationed here for a while, so a bed won't go amiss. Then I guess there's no point turning it down. All right, yes. items. Medium recovery. Uh, small G luck plus. Do you want to take a break? I guess. There, uh, <laughs> as far as I know, there is no time passage mechanic in this game. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is not. just a weird thing. <laughs> I mean, it's probably a free heal, right? So at least there's that. It's a he it's an option for healing station. I guess. Uh, Volt proof salve. I uh, immune to electrical damage for temporary, I guess. It, or energy damage in general, like bullets. Yeah. Oh yeah, bullets. I forgot that those are energy and not like uh, actual bullets, which makes sense because well, that tiny little yeah, thing could no, not carry a large were. magazine. Unless they're going for the mass effect the approach. Original game, like it was magic. Yeah, exactly. But it was magic where you got to the end of the game and you're like, is it magic though? Oh <laughs> or yeah. Or is it weird technology? Okay, so I got small red dots. Uh, I'm not 
seeing yeah, side the, quests, the, though. Yeah, the, the, there aren't any right now. If, so what's, if you're what's not the seeing the story any. quest? Uh, oh, walk out of the base. Often you walk out of the base and uh, operator will talk to you. Oh, yes, that's what happened the last time, right? Yeah. All right, let's see what they have to say. Yep, you're right. There we go. Operator to 9S. <clears throat> this is 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. Okay. 2B, 9S. We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. <laughs> their black boxes are online, so we presume <laughs> they're still alive. The We've tracked the location of their signal. We've lost several units on the surface to head over and investigate. Yeah, End so transmission. Go find hmm. the Yorha units. I heard something about that back at the resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. I'm not. They just get new bodies when they die. Yeah, uh, but I mean, they still see die. How this works? Okay, they have to be within it. It doesn't mark them. Yeah, no. You gotta. They've got to be inside it. And then you get like five hits on everybody. Five okay. for you, and it scales off of your weapon damage. You get it. Gets more robo fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seems like I remember. Okay, cast. Don't be. To be fair, I got a really big metal koi fish. So. Yes, which are are they're just uh, money. I think we determined. Like the description just says, can be sold. Yeah. Report. Uh, that's a tiny one again. Yep. Nope. I luckily got nothing. Nope. I. You didn't hit it fast enough, I guess. No, I caught it. It just must have broke free. Weird. Um, since I, we were talking about, uh, games that I recently played, I actually really enjoy the Persona 5 fishing mechanic. Yes. It, uh, it's fun. It's, it's, it's interesting. It has, a an actual, like, difficulty to it. <laughs> um, and I was about to get the, the trophy for the legendary one, but it's really hard to catch. Nice. It's called legendary fish, so... Yeah, you were gonna say something. Oh wait, we're about to hit the quest thing. Come on. Uh, you can talk. It looks, looks like our surface, surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. Um, you were saying something about Kingdom Come. Oh, uh, it's a, it's a super interesting game. It's uh. So to be, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. Yes. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. Like I humans. suppose. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was just going to mention uh, Kingdom. Report. Purpose unknown. I got an oil canister. Gas cylinder. Complete. All right. I figured it might be trash or something down here, but I wanted to see. Anyway, continue with yours. I would check that out. I don't know if it's a crafting material or a selling material. All right. Uh, I never, was... like, did any fishing in this game, so if there are crafting materials in... <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly fish them up. Mandatory items for getting 100% upgrade yeah. on all weapons. Which I will probably do, because I'm a completionist. Uh, oops, did I pass it? Gas cylinder. Junk. Just some old junk. Yeah, can be, can be exchanged for money. money. Alright, so it's, it's nothing. Anyway... <clears throat> Oh, uh, but I was gonna say it's it's weird. It's like Skyrim, but it's it wants to be like as much of a simulation as possible. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ross so, called it the peasant simulator. Yeah, you're not a peasant. You're a commoner. It's, it's like a step up. Yeah, you're in the middle. L like there's literally a part where it says that you're like you're going to take a peasant into your service, and Lord goes, he's not a peasant. He's the blacksmith's son. <laughs> he's a blacksmith. Which is uh, it's, it's a weird a thing with level. old hierarchies like that. Yeah, uh, but anyway, I was just going to mention the uh, alchemy mechanic. Okay. Uh, which is you go to the alchemy table, you read the recipe, and then you actually have to do it. It's like put two pinches of this in it, boil it for two turns of the hourglass, then crush some of this, pour it in, boil oh. for another three turns of the hourglass, and if you fuck it up, you end up with garbage. Okay. <laughs> that is an interesting it's, mechanic. It, yeah, it's it's kind of neat. But, like, the potions are, like, long-lasting. 
uh, effects, so it's worth the time you put into it. Okay, and then so, yeah. as you get higher level, you can get a perk that lets you auto craft as, as you auto get better. Is so better. much better. So but, I, just, I just got a text from uh, Jason, who's watching the stream, and he says, uh, "Make sure you fish everywhere whenever you can, as you get a lot of stuff. Plus, it's the only way to get your third pod." Oh, cool! I never got the third pod. Well, I mean, you didn't do any fishing. So yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> So apparently, I'm making the right choice by just randomly fishing in the locations yeah, instead there of you fishing. Go. I'll keep up the habit then, until I just want to rush through something. Well, like I normally, I love fishing mini games, but this one's not really a game. It's just you press, hit the button, and press then hit the X button, yeah. when the when the thing bobs. It's it's the Animal Crossing equivalent of a fishing game. What are you? You found the secret. Chain of Weapon, Virtuous Dignity. Uh, that sounds cool. Let's look into it. Was it a spear? It looked like a spear. It looked like a spear. Uh, Virtuous Dignity, a white spear used by Samurai of the East. Damage is okay. pretty good. Uh, let's see. Details. So, it's it's another virtuous weapon like your, your light sword and your heavy sword. Yep. Story. The elegant white spear was crafted by a tyrant as a gift for his wife, whose parents he had killed years earlier. She slipped it under the bed they shared, then later used it to run him through 30 times. That seems excessive. And it really makes me wonder, this seems like the end of a weapon story, but it's only the beginning. Yeah. I wonder what this weapon will do next. I'm going to do some changes here, and I think I'm going to make the spear my primary weapon on this combo. And uh, use Beast Bane as my secondary and just kind of test it out. So, yes, uh, the spear combo. move set is much as you would expect a spear move set to look like. But its combo is cool because it launches you forward. Yes. Alright, that's awesome. I'll hang on to that. So, so this was a, you, you found a secret place to climb up. Oh, I thought this is where I was supposed to no, come out. No, you went past where you were supposed to go and found the secret. Because there was debris in the way that you sort of went under. And oh, it, okay. And it, it, see, this doesn't look like you can go through it if you just turn oh, around. Oh, I didn't even notice this ladder. Yeah. I just thought that was the way you were supposed to go because the map kept going. So I was just like, clearly that's a hallway. <laughs> But, like, someone who's not paying attention will look at that and just go, ah, oh, well, that's the dead end. And I'll just keep going. Yeah, no, I, uh... I mean, you JRPG didn't even see the ladder, and you were looking at the map and didn't notice the ladder and went, it has to be this way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a JRPG player through and through. You see the way you're supposed to go, and you go the other way. Yeah. And then there's, there's games that, like, fool you and then lock you in. <laughs> Like, this is obvious, this giant room is obviously the way to go, so you walk into a closet, and that's where the boss fight is! Yeah, I closet. fucking hate that. There was multiple times, lovely choker, oh, it's crafting material, okay. There was multiple times in, like, Final Fantasy X where I had to reload a save because I didn't want to progress the story, and I made the right choice because then I would find, like, some really good stuff. Oh man, I just got a game that's really bad for that. It's another, uh, it's called The Council? And it's like a choice game, like uh, Life is Strange or something else. The fuck? Yeah, you know. Robots. Doing robot stuff. They're jesters. Dual um, magus. Yeah, at, at uh, totally not Disney World. With a heart in the middle. Mm -hmm. That heart looks familiar. That heart does not look like it was part of the original building's design. No. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the, the, I was just going to say, it's, it's interesting, it's a choice game, but like Life is Strange, how it added an interesting gameplay mechanic to, yes. to get around the fact that, uh, you know, it's not, like, like, we need to add some game here because the, once, once you realize the Telltale formula, you're kind of like, well, oh. nothing I do matters, yeah. and there's no game. So... So Life is Strange added a cool mechanic with with time travel. This one, uh, like, it's using a different sin system, but it really feels like what it's trying to, um, trying to uh, invoke, like, what Call of Cthulhu the... wow. style. This is weird. Because you have skills and shit yeah. that you can, you can build up and you can level up however you want. 
Uh, and those skills will allow you to discover different things in the story and complete the story in different ways. So I'm playing as, like, uh, I'm playing as a detective. Why do these guys have blue health instead of normal health? I would call that, I see that as green, but uh, it's because you could have talked to them. Oh. Well, <laughs> I murdered the innocent people. Yes, you can do that in this game. What, what happens when I talk to them? Uh, they say things to you. I don't remember specifically what they say. But don't worry, if you can, you know, control your bloodlust for at least a few moments, there'll be some other green health enemies. Alright, good to know. I will make sure I don't murder them next time. But yeah, so anyway, why, the reason I brought up the order, though, or the council, is because it's really bad for locking you in. Okay. It's like, I'm exploring the area and, like, looking at everything. Drop rate plus two. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, that in a second. It, Ooh, experience gain. EXP gain, gain is, is good, too. Uh, the, like, it'll be like, okay, uh, go to bed to progress the story. And it's like, okay, so I'm just exploring, like, my sitting room. In, yeah. in my area, and then I walk into the bedroom because I'm going to go look around at everything in the bedroom. The instant you step through the threshold, it goes, oh, okay, you're going to sleep, mission's over, here's the things you missed. Wow. Here's the things you succeeded at. It's here's a, the next, next day. And I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> Alright, I think I can equip both of these. So a 30% increase on my drop rate. Yep. Uh, and a... Experience. 4% experience on my bo uh, experience boost. 4% experience on your boost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, experience boost is great. Because that's just, that's just straight up power. There is something here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not for now. I'll save you the time. <laughs> or, it, like, this is not where you get up to. Okay. Uh, let's see. You don't have a green health bar, so you die. Yeah. I believe that uh, none of these guys would have attacked you at all. If you didn't attack them. Yeah, I kind of figured that, but I made the right choice. I got a drop rate and <laughs> you're, experience. You're going, yeah, and you're going, you, you, I love how you're, like, flying back and forth. That's another chip. See, that's what the chips look like. Yeah. Slightly different. Damage, damage absorbed absorb. plus two. I don't think that's going to cost only three. No, probably not. Yeah, like uh, going back for what? You're going wildly back and forth on like, hey, so you, you fight, you're fighting a boss and you're like, the boss isn't attacking me. This is weird. I don't want to attack him. And you're like, little robots with funny hats. You're <laughs> dead. <laughs> Fucking murder. <laughs> Plus I'm like theorizing this whole time that these people might be sentient and that I probably shouldn't kill them. But I'm like, Fucking murder. You're our first customer. <laughs> he gave me an item. Yeah. They're just happy, friendly people. Oh my god. Machine with a dream. Oh god. I would have murdered her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Give those little fucking pigtails. Like, I looked at her and went, you're gonna die <laughs> down here. Can I go in here? I could jump that. I could have grabbed it and hopped over. Yeah, well, this... That's one thing they didn't go for in the level design of this game. They're like invisible walls all over the place. Right? <laughs> like, like you're you're a, that is a huge door. Yeah, and it should be open. There's the map shows that there's a path behind there. Mm, Let me back. Crazy. I want to go to these other areas. There's like alleyways and shit. It's gonna be those things. Like, I have to come back to. <clears throat> come again. I'm not leaving yet. Alright, well I guess I'll leave you guys alone. Uh, you got anything to say? Father machine, let's be happy together. Together, together. So like, did people just not come here and they don't know to fear androids yet, or what the fuck? They're just, you know... Drab bracelet. Big, uh, big happy so there's a robots. boss fight coming up. What makes you say that? There's a giant empty corridor <laughs> directly in front of me with a quest marker in the middle. This gate isn't going to open. Maybe there's another way around. Yes, I've been saying that the whole time. There is another way. It won't let me. It will. 
you just haven't looked in the proper direction yet. Uh, proper direction up? No, oh. it's through the big open doors. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're trying to get into that gate. And you're like, I can't do it, I can't do it. Well, behind you, there's a gate that's wide open. Of course. I want to get in there, though. Like, there's stuff in there. Yes. I'll come back later. Mm-hmm. 